Stagecoach is a 1939 Western classic, often overshadowed by other films that came out that year, in particular The Wizard of Oz and Gone with the Wind, Stagecoach is still a very good film. That for its gene is one of the most important westerns ever made, maybe only the great train robbery supersedes it when it comes to importance. The film is directed by John Ford and stars John Wayne as Ringo the Kid, a convict that is on the run having broken out of prison. This was the film that proved to be Wayne's breakout role. From a B-movie actor before Stagecoach, this film propelled him to the top as one of Hollywood's biggest stars and one of the most iconic actors of all time. Stagecoach's story is similar to The Breakfast Club. A group of people who share almost nothing in common are put together in this small stagecoach. Facing the threat of Geronimo and over the course of the film, they form a unique connection having gone through all these trials together. The crew of oddballs includes an alcoholic doctor, a prostitute, a pregnant lady, a gambling ex-colonel, a salesman and a cowardly stagecoach driver, a brave officer and a corrupt banker on the run. Along the way, they bump into Ringo, who joins them on their journey to Carlston, as he has an old score to settle with the people who dobbed him in. By the sound of it, Stagecoach doesn't sound like anything extraordinary, with this kind of story done hundreds of times. But in 1939, this was an entirely new and original concept that hadn't been done before. The characters face the threat of Native Americans throughout the film, building the tension constantly throughout it. The Native American attack, however, doesn't happen until the very end of the film. So the film's use of time to make the story interesting is first focused on its characters. Because of a cluster of differ different personalities in the stagecoach, the characters can often sometimes clash, such as with the corrupt banker who frequently clashes with the other characters, and Doc Boom when we cl he clashes with the ex-Southern Colonel Hatfield over what the Civil War was about. Was it a war for the Southern Confederacy or a war against the Southern Rebellion? This allows for the film to contain a good mixture of com comedic relief during the ride. The film's focus on the characters allows for a good amount of time for the characters to develop and so that the audience can get to know the characters. Doc Boom, Dallas and Ringo are probably the most evident of this as they have the most development of all the characters throughout the entire course of the movie changing from who they were at the start to someone far more maturely developed. The acting is constantly good, and while Wayne is a standout, the other actors are also very good, in particular Thomas Mitchell as Doc Boone, who won an Oscar for his, mo for his performance, and Clary Trevor as Dallas is also great. John Ford, the director, was famous for using Monument Valley in his westerns, and Stagecoach is no different. Ford uses them to his advantage, making the Wild West appear far more unknown and vast, showing us the true vulnerability of, it, of the small stagecoach as it makes its way to, to the final destination. As the film is warned, Geronimo does attack towards the end of the film, and it is the most entertaining and exhilarating action pack seen throughout the entire film, as the characters try to protect themselves and fight back. With guns blazing, people are killed and injured. And when all hope seems lost, the cavalry ride to save the day. This is one of the problems with the film, though. The film does not show the Native Americans as people, but more of a force of natural savages that are to be feared and to stop and to be stopped. With no characters to them, they are simply just there. Stagecoach also tries to establish a romance between Ringo and Dallas but it feels rushed and lacks chemistry between the two characters. While not horrible, it doesn't seem to work and hurts the film. Stagecoach may not be along the lines of the searches of the good, the bad and the ugly, but it is an entertaining film with some great direction and some splendid acting. Stagecoach is worthy of a name. Thanks guys, and if you enjoyed this, don't forget to like and subscribe for more. Don't forget to comment as well.